What I have just shared are some of the many efforts that the Malay Muslim community has embarked on. It has been a difficult and challenging journey for my community. As DPM Taman recently said at the Nanyang Technological University Majula lecture, and I quote him, growing up as a minority is different from growing up as a majority. Never pretend that it's the same. Sometimes the majority does not know what it feels to be a minority community. And for the Malay Muslim community, this sense of being misunderstood is deeply felt, having been the spotlight for quite some time. It is not a pleasant experience when your religion and your religious orientation is under constant scrutiny. But we persevere. When other faith communities step forward to lend support to our struggle, it gives us comfort that we are not in this alone. So while Muslims have come under scrutiny in recent times, Singaporeans recognize it is not only our community's battle, it is everyone's battle. So I was glad, like Mr. Pritam Singh, when our Singaporean Buddhist brothers recently stepped forward to lend support to Singaporean Muslims who felt a sense of anguish for the situation in the Rakhine state in Myanmar. They did so despite sharing a common faith with the majority in Myanmar. Each and every one of us is a part of Singapore, and we're interconnected in many different ways, linked through history, living side by side in our neighborhoods, schools, workplaces, recreational activities, and sometimes through marriage. These connections are the social glue that binds us together as a nation. We all sing the same national anthem and hold our right feast to our hearts when reciting the pledge. This and many other experiences of being a Singaporean must mean something to every one of us, especially when the going gets tough for a member of the Singaporean family. We must all work together to ensure that we preserve a cohesive Singapore society. We can defeat extremism, exclusivism, and Islamophobia, Islamophobia and other threats only if we feel for one another and do whatever we can to tackle these challenges. We require a Team Singapore approach that must become our way of life.